Hi guys, so I'm back with another video. Don't mind me, I look crazy. It is Sunday. It is the end of the month. Um, and I am trying to gear up for February and cooking dinner at the same time. And I am excited about this new Plan With Me organizational series. I just filmed one, one of the videos and I figured I might as well go ahead and get started on the next one. The first one I did was how I plan my week of cooking and this ties into my series of what I cook in a week. So you can check out some of those videos and I'll do more if you guys want more of those. I'm going to show you how I plan and organize my month. So this was January's crazy month. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to start by erasing entire January. And then I have all my, you know, important, you know, stuff down here, like for the kids' school and all that. Um, and then I usually have in this little clip here is of all, like, appointment cards and stuff. I'm not showing it because it has our address on one of them, um, but I'm going to get started with February, and the great thing about this, you can get this on wallpops.com, is you can erase it, and I keep, I keep all of my, um, Expo color coded markers here, and I have everything pretty much color coded, so anything that has to do with, like, personal, um, things, or is in red, um, family things, personal things, anything with school has to do with green, um, anything has to do with, like, events and stuff, work-related, is in blue, um, and anything that's dance-related and work-related to the dance school is in purple, which is pretty much every day. Yeah, so, let's get started. Things I do is I take a screenshot, a screenshot, a picture of the calendar in case I need to reference anything that was on the previous month's calendar and then I use just these Clorox disinfecting wipes. I used to use the spray, the Expo spray with the fancy eraser and yeah that didn't last long and this works equally as good. So I'm going to erase everything except for the bottom week and then once I add that to the top then I'll erase that. See, I have like some leftover stuff here, but this works pretty good. And then I keep on the top here, I don't erase this because this is to reference when they have library and gym, so I know. I just take a paper towel just to dry it before I start writing the dates. Here, February 1st starts on a uh, Wednesday. Well, I should have seen it right here, but. And then I'll write the rest um, through the 28th after I write this first week up first week here. February is still partially in um, January. I'm going to put January up here in black. And obviously it's January, but I'm just gonna write this in there. And then I like to start with important dates in February in red which I said is my code, my color coding for personal stuff. So um, February is Colby's birth month, which is exciting. So I'm gonna start with Colby's birthday. Put a big heart and write Colby's first B day. And She's also having a little birthday party that day too. So I'm just write plus party. Party. Also February is Valentine's month. 
So put a heart here, and then we'll just write Valentine's Day. Day. Um, also, it is my grandmother's birthday. I believe it's on the 9th. I'm trying to think if there's any other birthdays in February. No. So, I am going to um, copy this first month up here. Had, um, or Emmeline had a rehearsal today. Company rehearsal. She had it 11 to 1. And then everything else for that week I'll do in purple for work and dance. I just do this because I work part-time at their dance school almost every day. The rest of the month's purple marker stuff, I'm going to um, add in their CCD. So what I do is I look back at the, I had like papers here, I just took them down for now. I'm going to look back on this just to make sure um, what days, if they have any days off for February. And then I'm also going to look on their school calendar if they have any half days or off days. So I can mark they that. They are off here for CCD because it's President's Day the following day and then this same day they don't have school so I'll write that in a minute so um, every day every Sunday besides that Sunday they have CCD and I'll do that. I'm using a different green for school school that's for Sunday school um, they have um, no school here because of President's Day First, they have a half day. Few appointments, doctor's appointments and stuff in black. So Malia has a dentist appointment tomorrow at um, um, 11. So I'll have to pick her up and drop her back off. You now I have from my appointment cards, I have a dentist appointment um, at 10 a.m. Me. Um, I have to reschedule my eye doctor appointments, so that will come up, go on the calendar later. Um, for now, I'm going to write one event that I have this coming week. It should have been in blue, but I'm going to move it to the second. <music> to erase this and then add um, the other dates um, and then the, the first days of March on the end of this calendar. And then I'll add the rest of my stuff that I have for what now. I did for the final, I just added the rest of the days for um, work and dance stuff, some other like important meetings for CCD. Um, I don't really have much blues in here yet because I haven't really um, booked many events because my parents will be in the Philippines. I don't have really help with the kids. And you guys know Brian's not here, so I'm not doing anything like event related really for the month of February other than one thing this week um, because then my parents get back towards the end of the month and then I wrote in a little bit of March in here and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video the next plan with me video I will share will be my personal planner for Erin Condren don't forget to check out how I did this and I'll see you guys next time bye